In today's episode, I'm sharing how to make a beautiful topiary for your home, and I used fresh flowers from my own garden. First we need to create the base for the topiary and to do that I'm using a smooth foam ball and some reindeer moss and I'm just going to hot glue it to cover the surface of the ball. Be sure to leave the little hole in the ball open because that's where we're going to insert our stem. Now that the ball is completely covered it's time to move on to drying the flowers. To dry the flowers, I'm using Activa's Flower Drying Art Silica Gel. This is an easy product to use. You can let it just set and dry over a couple of days or microwave it to make it faster. We start by putting about an inch to an inch and a half in the bottom of a container. I'm using this wide glass bowl because I'm going to do a lot of flowers at once. I cut my flowers down to just the flower heads and place them face down into the silica gel. I sprinkled on more of the silica gel particles to cover the flowers completely. And just be careful, you want to get it in between the little petals, etc., so that your flowers maintain their shape. The instructions will tell you how long to microwave for particular types of flowers. Once the microwave process was complete, I used a fork to carefully lift out each of my flowers from the silica gel. and kind of gave them a little shake to remove any particles that may remain. You could use a soft paintbrush to also remove any remaining particles if needed. Once I had enough flowers for my topiary, I use a hot glue gun to glue each of the flowers in place onto the reindeer moss base and just sort of equally space them, but there's really no right or wrong way to do this. I love how drying this way maintains some of the pretty color of the flowers instead of causing them to brown too much. Now all the flowers are attached to our topiary and it's time to move on to the pot. To etch the word bloom onto the ceramic pot, I'm using Etch Mask from Etch All. I used an electronic die cutting machine to cut out the word and then my pick tool to remove the letters themselves as I want the negative space for this project. The Etch Mask comes with transfer paper. This makes it easy to transfer the stencil onto the pot and not lose the sections between the letters, the inside areas of the letters and have to try to realign those later. I use my scraps of etch mask to border around my stencils just to avoid any drips, etc. on my pot. I'm using etch all cream to etch the word bloom onto the ceramic pot. Use a squeegee or a similar tool to apply a thick coat onto the area that you want to etch. Let it set for 15 minutes before proceeding. Now that it's set for 15 minutes, I'm going to return the etch-all cream to the jar for another project because it is reusable. And then I washed the pot and removed the etch mask stencil. And here's the finished pot with the word bloom etched. Now Rub and Buff is a product that will make your etched areas on glass or ceramic or any surface stand out a bit more. Just take a little bit on your finger and rub it over the etched area and it adheres as you can see and just really highlights that beautiful etching. To assemble the topiary, I glued another foam ball into the bottom of the pot. 
I didn't have a dowel, so I got kind of crafty and decided to use a pencil. I cut off the eraser end and then sharpened both ends of the pencil to make it easier to insert into the foam balls. And I painted it with some multi-purpose craft paint, a couple of coats to give it the color that I wanted. Carefully insert your topiary into the top of your pencil stem and then I used some more reindeer moss to fill in around the ball in the pot and kind of spill out over the edges of the pot a bit. We hope you enjoyed our Flower Festival series sponsored by Activa, Etchall, and Judykins. Remember to follow us on social media and go to our website to sign up for a chance to win a box full of crafting goodies. And don't forget, when creativity knocks, open the door!